Hello YouTube family and welcome to another episode of this and that. Yes it is your boy Rosie, your soon to be number one YouTube host. I was recently gifted with a unique cooking tool. This thing is about 15 years old, but it is one of the best cooking tools I've ever come across. Matter of fact, I've never even, I had never heard of that particular type cooking tool. So today we're gonna cook a chicken and we're gonna use that particular tool. I'm gonna give you a little bit of the history while I'm cooking. Stay tuned. All right, fam. Like I said in the intro, I recently acquired a new cooking utensil, and this is called the George Foreman Jr. It's a rotisserie grill. My daughter and my son-in-law recently uh, acquired a house from an older family member, and they found this thing in pristine condition on the shelf. It had been used a couple of times. I cleaned it up. I uh, cooked a uh, chicken in it about three days ago, and it came out excellent my wife was out of town with her mother her mother just recently had back surgery so i uh went ahead and cooked the chicken i told her about it and she's like you gotta cook me one so today she's over helping her mom take a bath and you know kind of get back on her feet so we're gonna cook her a chicken i got some beans on in the house some baked beans and i'm preparing some potato salad so like I said in the intro, I'm gonna give you a brief history on this thing while I'm uh, putting my chicken in. I've already seasoned my chicken. I injected my chicken with my injection that I showed in a previous video. And uh, also I used my new injector. This thing injects a ton of, <laughs> of uh, seasoning in your bird too, cause it's got the wide tip. Now, while I'm putting it together, this is the insert that goes in and it kind of reflects the heat back and you got two uh, a eye in there that heats up the George Foreman grill. While I'm putting it together and getting ready to put the chicken in, I'm gonna give you a little bit of history. Uh, back in the 70s, there was, and that's for the people who don't know for you youngsters. Back in the 70s, there was a box by the name of George Foreman and he was from around the Houston, Texas area. And he fought the greats like Muhammad, I'm sorry, Muhammad Ali and uh, uh, what was his name? Mean Joe Frazier, that's correct. So uh, George Foreman got beat and he got out of the boxing game. And at the age of 40, he decided to get back into boxing. And when he got back into boxing, at the age of 40, he won a lot of fights. He did so well that a company decided to uh, sponsor him. And the company needed a face. So they used George Foreman and they started making these George Foreman grills. They have one, that, a small one that cooks uh, hamburgers. And the secret behind the George Foreman grill is all the grease drips off of it and it makes a healthier uh, meal. So today, like I said, we're gonna cook a chicken. We're gonna use this George Foreman grill and uh, I don't think that's supposed to sit. I don't like it sitting on that eye like that. So we're just gonna put this underneath like so. And we're gonna cook a chicken. So this is called the George Foreman Jr. This thing is probably 15 to 20 years old, but like I said, this thing cooks an excellent chicken. The premise, and it wrote, it's a rotisserie. The secret behind this thing, simply uh, take this. Uh, I need another, get another glove. You simply take this rod that goes through the chicken, start in the, uh, I'm gonna start through, I'm gonna go through the bird, go through the bird, insert this in the end. Boom. 
Make sure your chicken is centered. And you're supposed to tie those legs up, but I'm not doing that today. It's a small bird, and I think she'll be okay. You center this on the gears. Maybe I should get some string and tie that up on there. Be right back. All right, we're gonna take a little string and we're gonna tie those legs up to keep them from flopping around. Now the beauty of this thing is almost as simple as my Big Easy. You simply close the lid. There's a timer here on the side. You simply turn the timer on and for a chicken this size, it takes about an hour. Matter of fact, on the side it has writing, if you can see that. Take the gloves off, I'm done with that. It actually tells you right there, chicken is about 17 minutes per pound. That's probably about, I guess, three, four pound chicken. So at three pounds, 30, 51 minutes or so. So, forgive my math if I'm wrong. But uh, we're gonna put it in for about an hour. So we'll come back. We set it and forget it. We're gonna come back in about an hour, check this thing out and see how she's doing. All right, fam. Been about an hour and 15 minutes. Beans, done. Potato salad, done. Chicken in the George Foreman Jr., done. That is a good looking bird if I say so myself. So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm going up to my mother-in-law's house. She lives about a mile away. My wife is there taking care of her, like I said earlier. I'm gonna surprise them with the chicken, with the potato salad, with the beans, and we're gonna enjoy a football game and have lunch together. So, I hope this video has been helpful. If not helpful, at least fun. 15-year-old George Foreman Grill cooks the chicken to perfection. So, if this video's been helpful, give her a thumbs up. If not, give her a thumb down. If you like what we're doing here at this and that, consider becoming a subscriber. If you do subscribe, consider hitting the old like bell so you'll be notified every time we drop one of these awesome videos. Y'all have a great day. It's your boy, Rosie. Peace.